Rent today's top trender, bullies. Gun control is a controversial topic nationwide. The Second Amendment says we shall not be infringed, and in Texas we take that seriously. Texas gun lovers use intimidation to scare gun control supporters. We have got to have stronger gun control laws in this country. There is no reason to wait. As a mom, I demand action. Joining me now is Shannon Watts, founder of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Shannon, great to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. I want you to explain what intimidation your members are going through and, and what it is like being a member of this new organization that wants some sensible gun legislation in this country. What happened? Saturday, our moms met for lunch, uh, four unarmed moms, uh, peacefully gathering and, and exercising their right to assemble. And they all of a sudden looked out the windows and uh, 40 armed people showed up, uh, pulling long guns out of the backs of their trucks and in, in their trucks. Um, so, you know, they were threatening our moms and they were bullying our moms and they were using guns to do so. And we see this all around the country. This is just one example of it happening. Who are these people? <laughs> it's a good question. I mean, these are people who don't respect the law. They don't respect uh, their fellow citizens. They don't respect law enforcement. And they think they are the final arbiters of what is constitutional. So four moms who are a member of this organization show up for coffee and these guys just show up? Well, I mean, was this this a coffee meeting announced in the media or was there a, a press release put out that you're going to be meeting? What happened here? No, this was a private meeting that they discussed on Facebook and a member of Open Carry Texas pretended to be a member of our organization so they could find out where and when we were meeting. And our moms looked out the window and suddenly all of these people were standing outside and they were armed and it was because of our moms. And you know, seeing people uh, intimidate you with, with guns, I mean, that's something the Taliban would approve of, not our founding fathers. That is not what the Second Amendment is intended to do. So I don't want to misuse the term here, but my instinct tells me that uh, these people are trying to disband your organization. I mean, they, well, don't, they don't want you to have meetings anymore. How else do we interpret that? Absolutely. You know, we are not anti-gun. We're not against the Second Amendment. Uh, we, we support people who want to follow the Second Amendment. But it needs to be more regulated. That's clear in the, the out-of-control gun violence epidemic we have in this country. And uh, Open Carry Texas and other gun advocates who think that they are the final arbiter of the Constitution, they don't even want us to have those discussions. They don't want us to talk about how we can protect the eight children and teens who are shot and killed in this country every day. And I'm telling you, you know, uh, I, I have five children, so I'm familiar with temper tantrums, and this does not phase us. It does, it's not going to stop our conversations. Um, this has to happen, and change will come, and it's unfortunate uh, that they feel the need to use guns to try to intimidate and bully. Well, well, n now that you know that they follow you on Facebook, there are, I think, some viewers out there that might view this as a form of stalking. So, uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I mean, are, is the, are, are these people stalking your members? I, I think that that's, that's a, an interesting question. You know, the police did not arrest them. Uh, the police were called. They were following Texas law. Um, but I can tell you as a member of this organization, I get death threats and threats of sexual violence against myself and my daughters on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, this is an underbelly of America that all citizens should understand is, is out there and that they do not want any kind of regulation of the Second Amendment whatsoever. Yeah, I think the word intent comes into play here. What is their intention? Their intent must be to intimidate, send a message. Now, they were also uh, kind of making fun of, uh, of the four women. And, and of course, we, we, the, these ladies don't want to talk on camera. They are intimidated. They're, they're afraid of where this, this could go. And, and what is this going to do to your organization? You know, I, I can tell you that that a lot of us uh, just feel strongly that regardless of, of what is said and what is done, we're going to fight this. It's in very many ways. How are you going to fight it? How are you going to fight it? 
we're going to fight it by, with our words. I mean, there, there are three ways to go after this, through Congress, our state legislatures, and corporate business policies. And, and we've won. Uh, you know, Starbucks changed their business policy. We've had many states pass fantastic, new, strong gun legislation. We believe we can get a Congress to act on this when we get the right Congress in place. We are a growing grassroots movement of over 100,000 members, and that's how we're going to get it done. We're going to have to, you know, fight their bullying and intimidation. This has happened throughout history, and moms have been on the front lines, and we're going to do it again, regardless uh, of what they do. Shannon Watts, have you ever been an activist before, or is this is really your first project? I'm Never curious. in my entire life. I became an accidental activist on uh, December 15th, 2012, after Sandy Hook, the day after. And I will never go back until I know all five of my children and, and the rest of America are safe from, from gun violence. All right. Shannon Watts, I appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for telling the story. I appreciate it so much. We'll do it Thank again. You. Coming up, 60 Minutes makes a non-apology apology for fueling the, and I mean fueling, the right-wing noise machine.